testing. Hello and welcome to Chronograph. A recurrent issue while studying history is the lack of perspective. For instance, ask most people who is the greatest classical composer of all time. Chances are they'll say Bach, Beethoven or Mozart. But let's not forget that Mozart was only 35 when he died. That's 10.45 a.m. on the clock of his life. How would his music be perceived today if he had, had been able to compose until 4.53 p.m., like Beethoven, 7.32 p.m., like Bach, or even 2.38 at night, like Stravinsky? In a similar way, what would be left of Bach's works if he had begun to show signs of deafness at 8.16 a.m., like Beethoven? And what about the fact that Beethoven's Fur Elise wouldn't even exist if the German composer had only lived until 10.45 a.m., like Mozart? As you can see, we use the Archimedean spiral to assemble three clocks in one, a chronograph in which every 12 hour equals 40 years. The first two cycles represent the average life expectancy of the human race, which, barring epidemics, famine, poverty or war, is about 80 years. Of course, life expectancy is not a guarantee of longevity. Many people died young, such as Alexander the Great, Marilyn Monroe, or Vincent van Gogh. But it's not a deadline either, as others lived well beyond 80 years. This is the case with Isaac Newton, Michelangelo, and Winston Churchill. And since nowadays people live older than ever, we definitely need a third cycle. Just have a look at some of the celebrities who died last year. Burt Reynolds, age 82, Milo's Foreman, 86, William Goldman, 87, Catherine McGregor, 93, George Bush, 94, Stan Lee, 95, Nancy Sinatra Sr., 101, or Nabi Tajima, who died at the venerable age of 117. Placing the events of a life on this chronograph also allows us to visualize the path of each individual at a glance. You'll see, for instance, that Marie Curie was the only person to win a Nobel Prize in two different sciences, a feat she accomplished in less than three hours. That Alfred Hitchcock made three of his masterpieces, Vertigo, North by Northwest and Psycho, within an hour. That Nelson Mandela spent eight hours of his own day in detention, but that it took him less than an hour to get the Nobel Peace Prize and be elected as president of South Africa or that Elvis Presley needed only one hour to become one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. You got a special request? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more Chronograph videos.